Hello, in this video we're going to look at how we can present information in a more user-friendly way. Um, to do that we're going to be using reports. Now in the last video I showed you how to make queries and I've got a query here so we'll just check out the design quickly. Um, it's a parameter query, it's a complex parameter query. Uh, we're doing a search on two, um, two fields. One is on the genre and the other one is on the, uh, the release. And I've asked the question is you know, what, what genre do you want to uh, search for? And also, what is the latest year of release you want to search for? So it will find everything that is on that year of release and before, but not after. So if we just run that query just to, to check it out, um, let's do a search for rock pop. And we're going to search for songs that were from 1990 and before. So here are all the songs. Okay, so that's the query working. Now, if we're actually looking at that, let's load that back up actually. Uh, if we're actually looking at that, um, it's not a particularly user-friendly way of reading the information. It doesn't look very appealing. Um, it certainly wouldn't look nice if we were printing it off. So to make that more appealing and user-friendly, we're going to create a report. So we go to create and we're going to use the report wizard. We're going to select the data source, which is actually our query, which I've called QRY genre by year. And we're going to insert the track ID, the title. We don't need to search, we don't need to include the genre because we already know what genre it's going to be after we type it in. I do want to include the artist and I do want to include the album title and I'll want to include the year of release. Even though we typed it in, there is a large range of data within that year of release. Um, so I'll include that. So the only one I'm removing is genre. So I'm going to click next. And how do I want to group things? Well, actually, I might want to group them by artist. Uh, so what will happen is it will put all the tracks by the same artist together. Um, we'll see how that looks, maybe with a few different combinations uh, in a moment. Um, we can also sort the records uh, in a particular order. So we'll sort them by year of release as well. OK, so I don't know, actually, let's go. Let's do. Um, Actually, let's not bother. Let's just keep that off. So we're going to go next. We'll keep that as um, stepped and we'll go portrait and we'll click next. Give the report uh, a name. So I'm going to call it RPT and I'm going to click finish. So straight away, it's asking me for the information. So I'm going to type in uh, rock pop again and we're going to go 1990. Um, and now what we should have is um, tracks that are by the um by a particular artist so we've got artist aerosmith um track id 92 walk this way greatest hits yada yada and as we scroll down you can see that some of them have been grouped together um in a particular way so once you've got your report set up you can go into the design view and uh, mess around with it a little bit to sort of organize it in a way that you might like so actually i'm I don't think I'll put artists as a header. I'm going to just stick it all in together under the detail section. So I'll just hide that. Um, in fact, I might just remove that um, if I can. Nope. Okay, so we'll just leave that there. Um, let's view it again. Let's do uh, Urban this time. 1990. Uh, we've only got two songs on that time. So. There is a little bit of uh, room, wiggle room to move things around. It would be nice, I think, if we put the, we've got the artist, we've got the track ID. It's all kind of squished up, so let's just rearrange that so we can highlight these. Oops. Highlight these, move them across, space it out a little bit, and that looks all right. So here we've got a title that's cut short, so we'll expand that a little bit, and we'll move these slightly more central and there we go so we've got a report that sort of looks a little bit more uh, user friendly let's um, get out of this view uh, well, actually let's save it first because we've not saved it let's save it run it again oh no oh, design view sorry let's change the title so it's a little bit more sensible so we're going to call this one report genre and year of release okay you can insert images if you wanted to 
uh, just use one of the tools um, that you get under the design section you can add images and things like that um, it's that one there I haven't got any images so I'm not going to stick one in but um, you can stick them in you can change the color scheme all through here and um, when it's all set up you go into the print preview mode so again we'll just go rock pop 1990 um, and Literally, you would then go file print and you'll be able to print that particular page off and it will be printed on a nice piece of A4 paper ready to give to your DJ or something like that. So that's that. That's making reports.